How, how does this season feel different, not just because it's the end, but also you're in the future? You're, you know. Well, every time, I mean, it seems the last couple of years, every time we start a new season, it is just a, a huge reboot, which I think kind of infuses the show with like a different energy, you know, you've got a bunch of different faces and new people, and so um, it's also, I mean, we've been doing this for quite a long time now, so any chance you get to kind of shake it up a bit, it's great, because it's not that, I mean, like, we all enjoy coming to work, but it's like doing the same thing over and over. You guys get to see it, you know, like, done, but we stand in the lab a lot, <laughs> you know, on the... So, it, it's, it, that's always been fun, and particularly this year, too. Joel was saying on the phone call that everyone has their odyssey this season. It's obviously the last one, so we're going to bring everything to an end. How do you feel about the arc so far of Olivia and where it's going? Um, it's funny, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure because I know that I've said this before, but it feels like it, it, the show isn't linear, I don't think. And especially for Olivia, it isn't linear. There's episodic arcs that I sort of think are very clear and very kind of defined, but I'm sort of, and I don't know if that's, that's like the classic actor cliche going, well, I'm in it and I can't see it. And I don't <laughs> believe that. I believe you should always, you know, be able to sit outside and see it. But maybe I have just been in it a little bit too long. And so the, the objective look at her progression isn't something that I'm quite there. I'm not quite there yet. I still, I don't know, I've been, I've been thinking about it because we have, we're halfway through. So I think we're going to sort of really pick up speed and, and that's going to be, I'm going to find out where she ends up very soon. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's getting a handle on where she, I don't know, I'm actually really getting a handle on where she is at the moment and what I think the best outcome for her could be, which is different to what the best outcome for me, you know, could be. Like, they're two different things. That's just so... Jamble <laughs> <laughs> Are there any major differences between the Olivia of season five and the Olivia that we saw in season four? <clears throat> um, I don't think so. I mean, I mean, it's sort of it's all circumstantial, you know. Like you're, you're people, you, you kind of understand a person's personality or a person's nature through their actions. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, differences, yeah, because she's not walking around in her suit, you know, like doing paperwork for the FBI. <laughs> you know, like stuck in this world where, you know, the enemy is close. And mm -hmm. so I guess that, that different sides of her come out, but I haven't intentionally made her a different person. But she's also a person who's lost her daughter and, you know, whose marriage, you know, has been tricky. So all those things come into play, but she's still Olivia 